quick live tonight. So I was thinking about it and I'm just putting my cover on. So obviously I like to sit out all night long <laughs> so it could dry when the ones that I clean. And just easiest way to put a stencil back on the backer is to do it upside down. So as you can see, I've got this. It's a little stained in the greener areas, but the silk screen area is clear, which is the most important part. So I can reuse it over and over again. So I've got that. And then just a reminder of, this is the back of the shirt that I did last night. So let's see this. Just making sure that it's not stuck or anything. So you can see, this is what I did. Do, do, do on the back of the shirt and I'm going to do the front of the shirt tonight. So if I look on the inside of the t-shirt, I'm going to flip it inside out so you can see. So the reason, the importance of putting the ink mat underneath it so that if the ink doesn't go through to the other, like the front of the shirt when you're doing the back of the shirt, because the inside of the shirt looks like this. So it's just like a faded flag. I was actually, that's kind of like a cool faded flag. Um, so this is the inside of the shirt. So you can see the ink did go through because this is just a normal t-shirt. It's not heavyweight. It's not super lightweight. It's more on the light side than the heavy side. But it went through. If I hadn't had the ink mat holding that from going through, it would have gotten on this side of the shirt, which is the inside of the front. So tonight I am going to put something on the front of the shirt to kind of go with this. I'm going to use my smaller ink mat because I'm going to do a smaller transfer, not a big one. And I'm just pretty much going to center it right on here. Let's see. Stretch my shirt out. Then usually this ink mat is twice this length. It looks like that long. But I cut it to easily fit a nice small transfer. Then I'll, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to flip the shirt inside out. See that it's, well, I guess that is the right side out again. Hello, you guys. So, this is the back. And this is the front. And the ink mat's underneath it. And I'm just going to pull it so that, yeah, I get all the wrinkles out. Now, I do have some options for the front, so I have this as Star Stripes Forever to go across the front, which is the one I think I'm leaning towards most. Um, I do also have this one, which is the Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness, which really does go with the back of the flag. Uh, this is just some extra stripes, and this is the Home of the Brave. So if I, had, if I wanted to do like a little bit of a pocket or something even... I think I'm debating between those two. I do have some more 4th of July themed ones, but I mean, even if I have a pocket of 4th of July, but I'm not worried about that. So I think I'm going to, all the decisions. Anybody have an opinion? Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. And then remember, this is what's on the back side of it. So I think I'm going to go with this because it's more like in this theme. It's got the stars and the letters. I'm going to put this to the side. And then if I do another one, I might do one, put this on the front of it. All right, so it's going to be pretty quick and easy to do the front. And then I'll let this dry tonight again. And then tomorrow night, I will heat set it. Um, or maybe even during early tomorrow or lunch or something. I don't know. Figure it out. Okay, um, so I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the shirt. I'm not going to fuzz it because I want it to be as sticky as possible. Because I'm putting it on a surface that is not smooth. So smooth surfaces, you want to fuzz it up to add length so it's not as sticky. And I'm just eyeballing it. So now all I have to do is decide on the color I want. So based on the colors I did last night, we've got the Ocean Mist, which is the blue. And then Marvelous, which is this, and then the white. I don't want the white, so I'm thinking either the blue or the red for the front. And I could actually do both. I guess I could even do the stars white. But I really liked how the Marvelous came out on it, so I'm going to do Marvelous on the front. So it is, it's a 
Marvelous is in the mauve range, which is kind of like a little, uh, I guess I'd describe it as, it's not quite pink, like if you mix pink and purple together, a little bit like that, but with it being on a dark colored shirt, as you can see on the back, because of that, it came out like almost a reddish color, because it's a light color. So that's kind of what I want to happen. And I just need to decide if I want to, I want the stars to be in a different color than red. I might just do those in white just because they're, they're stars. All right, so again, I'm just doing the ink and oh, I didn't realize there's little hearts on the happiness. So at the beginning and end of happiness, there's little hearts. So this should go fairly quickly. Um, I guess I could have even I could have mixed the red and the white together, or the marvelous and the white together. just do the stars and pink since I'm already got stuff out here. And I'm just scraping the excess off and putting it on ink. Try to go on as evenly as possible. Just scraping up any excess. You got lots of time to play with the ink so you don't have to be in a kind of hurry. And I did not get out something from my fingers. So far they appear to be clean. And so I don't think I want to put any white in it, so we'll just see. I mean, I've got lots of t-shirts, so if you see a shirt that I make that you like, um, let me know. I hear you, Alice. So hopefully you guys can see that okay. I'm going to throw this on my cleaning mat. So I have these two things to clean now. And, of course, after doing that, i got some on my fingers. all nice and clean. Okay, so front of the shirt and then back of the shirt. So the back is dry now. It's been 24 hours. The front, I'm going to take the backer out so I can clean it out. And I will hang this up and tomorrow night we will heat set both the front and the back at the same time. I decided that, I mean, I could have heat set the back tonight and then ink the front and then tomorrow heat set the front but it's just easier to ink to heat set stuff at the same time um, do, do, do. so you guys can see that okay do, do, do. and I'm sorry that the letters are backwards for you um, I did post a picture of the back of the shirt so you now we've got the front of the shirt here so I'm gonna set this here which is what I did last night I just went ahead and set it on here and just let it dry overnight. Oh, uh oh. What will? Somehow I got. Uh, must be when I took it off, I got a little bit of pink here. Just very, very little. I thought maybe it was my fingers, but it must have been when I took the backer off. Um, if you get anything on it, clean it up right away. And it's just really, really faint, but I will see it. For some reason, my eyes are drawn to details. All right. So, that'll all be dry tomorrow, and we won't even be able to see it or notice it. So, now I just got to clean up my little mess from tonight to do the front of the shirt, which won't take long at all. So, first, I'll clean off my little sticky ink mat. So, as you can see, it's sticky on one side, and it's hard on the back side. That that's what kept the ink from going through to the other side of the shirt. And it does have ink on it, so I'm just wiping the ink off so it's nice and clean for next time. It's still super sticky. And I'm just going to toss it to the side to dry for the next time I ink. And then I just need to clean these two. Oh, and I'm a little out of water. So I'm going to show you how I fill my fine mist sprayer while we're at it. And, uh, all right, so it doesn't hold 
tongue of water, but it does such a fine mist. Um, you can fill it up with tap water. I've gotten in the habit of using distilled water because if I ever want to spray something in a jar, for some reason the chalk paste, I left it open or something. Yeah, don't spill water like that. Um, if for some reason I left it open and it started to dry out, I'd spray it with a little distilled water in the jar because the important use of distilled water is tap water, you never know what's in tap water, so it could end up getting mold in your jar of paste if you were to add that. So it's just safer to use distilled water. Um, I, I bought like, you can buy like a gallon for a dollar at the store. And that's what I did. And I just had it sitting there to, to fill back up. Um, I have another one that's not, doesn't have distilled water in it. So let's see. All right. It's clean. All right. So I don't know if you guys can really see how fine the mist is. Well, let's see if you see it. It's super, super fine. Because I keep thinking if I'm going to get more of these in my discount that I get, um, that I might put cleaning products in them because it's such a super fine mist. People convert other stuff into craft stuff. I can convert craft stuff into useful everyday stuff. And I'm just going to wipe off the ink. So, as you can see, it's already it's coming right off. Ink stays wetter, longer. And I didn't even get my water bucket or anything out. I'm just using a couple of wipes. That's a small transfer. Ooh. So I clean the non-sticky side first. Making sure I get the letters all nice and clean. And of course I am pushing stuff through onto the cleaning cloth underneath. So you can kind of even see some stars there. Um, I'm going to flip it over to the sticky side and I'll leave it to dry after I clean it off, sticky side up. So when you saw me at the beginning of the live, put the backer back on the flag, it was sticky side up. And I'm just going to wipe this dry. Using the Clorox wipes does help the transfers dry quicker. Um, it's the alcohol in the wipes that, that does that. So, so all I did tonight was my little squeegee and this and the ink mat, of course. So I've got the ink mat that's drying as well. Um, and that's it for tonight. Quick and easy front of the shirt. Again, at the front of the shirt here. Doo -doo -doo. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness to go with the back of the flag. And that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow night I will heat set it and show you how to do that. And I'll walk you through how to do it with an iron just in case you only have an iron. Um, and then I'm going to get a really neat to clean this room. Um, so hopefully I can really start doing my lives from my garage next week. We'll see how the um, movement of the craft room to from upstairs in my house to the garage works. <laughs> if I can at least get the basics out there, then I'll just keep adding to it. I need to be more organized. All right. Night, guys.